so. Are we? We have to chat in here. Speak. I have a task for you. Oh Jesus. Of late, there are many in this house who have come to view my authority with disdain. It's because you're an asshole. As such, there is need of someone unbiased by our house's history and the traditions therein. Someone such as you. We must move quickly. The Tuatha will not hold their strikes for long. Let us stop their next blow. You fail to understand. Although the Tuatha wage war with us, as they have with the Alfar, they do so by other methods. Our enemies are subtle. They target individuals, not armies. They strike at convictions, not cities. And by doing so, they can retreat to where we cannot find them. For all our years of struggle, we know only this. That our enemy is led by a Tuatha agent, Saturnin. He is the master of this shadowy coup. Alright, so let's kill him and be done with it. We cannot right now. Oh, he hides not. himself and covers his tracks well. But I have a lead which you will investigate with one of our Delvers. Hybrid. A tender, Katarak, has fled the house and killed a fellow member in doing so. I suspect Saturnin's influence. Or, perhaps, that Katarak might be Saturnin himself. Bring Tybri to the body of Katarak's victim. Though dead, the sorrows will remain on the corpse. The sorrows can lead us to Katarak. Members of the house may choose one of two paths. The path of the Delver. Or the path of the tender. Delvers are those who commune with the sorrows of the living Fae and the recently deceased. They draw forth these sorrows and assume them. However, most Delvers lost their talent over these last few centuries. But our youngest, Tybri, shows some promise. There is a tender named Kadarak who has fled our ranks. He is somehow tied to Saturnin. I am certain of it. I want you to find him and put an end to him. For if he is not Saturn in himself, then he is betraying our secrets to the Tuatha. Why can't you do it? The tenders are those sacred few who oversee the decay and decomposition of a winter phase body. They also oversee the midden itself. For like a body, the midden is a physical thing, a vessel for rot and ruin, that which is required for death to become rebirth. Finally, they once tended to the gallows tree, but that was before the Tuatha perverted it. Oh, whatever. Hmm. God damn, he's putting me to sleep. Holy shit. It's back here. Another chatty dude, I'm sure. Mortal! There is something that requires the attention of one of your kind. You have been to the Midden, yes? I don't remember. The sacred ground being desecrated by the corpses of your kind? Yeah, whatever. The nature of my request is not something the Midden needs, but something the Midden should do without. The corpses of your brethren have been thrown into the Midden as a declaration of hostility by the Tuatha. But they do more than signify a point. Their corruption and rot have drawn an ancient Lianchi, Mithra, from slumber. She gluts herself on the bodies and will further corrupt the midden if unchecked. All right, kill to Mithra. See, Lianchi are drawn to death and decay. Something Winter Fay embody in spirit, but which mortals embody in flesh. When mortal corpses began appearing in the Midden, Mithra was unable to resist the temptation before her, and now she runs rampant. You cannot hope to solve the problem with a simple application of violence. The Athra is old, and she is wise to obvious attacks on her. Searching will yield no quarry, so you must be cunning. If we cannot find her in the Midden, we can force her to return to her den beneath the house. Find fresh corpses, the ones Mithra prefers to eat, and cremate them. With no food to scavenge, she will return to her den. Then you can kill her. 
Fantastic. Sounds boring as fuck. With great difficulty. She is clever and hides well when any come hunting for her. To search for her outright would be folly. But with some cunning, we can force her to appear. Neathgra prefers fresh corpses. Destroy those, and she would likely return to her den to wait for more. Locate any fresh corpses. Oh my god. Find Stop talking. Without food, she will stop scavenging and return to her den. Yeah, you said that three times now. Thanks. Got it. If there was Fuck. anyone meant to bear the title King of Sorrows, it was him. Had we not succumbed to the Tuatha's bargaining, he would have been king. Instead, we turned our backs on him. The gallows tree is the silent sentinel of the Midden, demonstrating how life grows out of death. It justifies our existence, defines it. It is a symbol not only of the House of Sorrows, but of the Winter Fay. To bear one's corpse upon it was a sacred rite, until the Tuatha defiled it with mortal remains. It is from these halls that we of the House safeguard the oldest traditions of winter. It must be shown due reverence. She is an ancient and powerful Lianchi. Normally she hibernates in the Midden, but the recent influx of dead mortals has driven her to feed. It will only be a matter of time before she further corrupts the Midden with her presence. For the house's sake, she must be put down. I have nothing more to say about him other than history will know him as the victor. We keep the Midden as a monument to the debt we Winter Fay have made with nature. But now the Midden is defiled, and we can do our task no longer. It was a gift of the Earth to commemorate the rot and decomposition of the Fay. Yay. Then the Tuatha sullied it with the corpses of their prisoners. Mortals do not decay like Fay do. Mortals putrefy and corrupt. The Midden and the House now feel this grisly taint. Make haste! Yeah, that's the exit. Don't want to leave yet. Is he still walking? Jesus Christ. Fuck off. Oh, who does... You? Get up, bitch! Greetings, mortal. I am a tender of the Midden. I have been instructed to offer you what insight I can give about the art of dispelling. <laughs> See if you can teach me anything. Oh, she can. Excellent. Train. <sighs> And sorrows guide you. Yay. Um oh. <laughs> I listen. Alright, there's nothing else going Greetings. on in here. It's moving out. You have business here. I don't anymore, I'm done. Leaving. Goodbye. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, shit. Um, what's going on? Destroy the Prismir Chantries. Okie dokie. I do like destroying stuff. Shit, I just one shot at him. Ha. Nice. Uh which 
way did I come from? This way, I think. Right? Yes. about this guys. It'll come back in a second. It's just more boring combat. You've seen it a thousand times already. If you've watched any of these videos. <laughs> Still fucking frozen. There we go. It's coming back. Son of a bitch. One of these days, I will get a new fucking computer. Is there any reason for me to be up here? No. Where's the fucking corpse? Oh, okay, it is over here. All right, good. All right, fuck. Fight these fat fucking bastards. Oh, fucking hell. It's fucking frozen again. Jesus Christ. Oh, sweet, it worked. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Um, shit, alright, I don't want to jump down yet. Oh, more Child assholes to kill. Is here for death. <laughs>
dying mortal from the well has returned. That's me. Your existence is an abomination against all things. How can you not see this? I don't really care. A child of dust who lives after death. A creature separated from your fate. A being with neither purpose nor reason. You were a mistake. A new way mortals found to pervert the world. Soon you shall be cleansed from my lands. Blah, blah, blah. Boom. <laughs> 